hello everyone welcome again to gsmct so today we are gonna be doing a reaction video of course to episode six of invincible now i had finished doing the reaction for episode uh five season two of this particular uh you know series and it left a whole lot of surprise and shock after watching episode five so episode six now so let's see what episode six um is gonna be giving us today right okay let's let's do this just do it you prick They're still fighting the secrets over here. Almost done. Whatever you are planning, it will fail. I'm not as strong as he, but I can keep them away for a few minutes. A few minutes is all I need. Than you and you know it. Okay, this kind of feels a little bit arrogant. I mean, I understand that you know, uh, Mark, she, he can do it, but I think there would have been a nicer way to tell the immortal that you want to do it instead of pushing him, you know, this way. Mm. Fail. Cover me. The model literally understands and doesn't. He doesn't fight him. Like there are better ways to have written this part, but. No, 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 no! Shakespeare! I can't keep them. They got Eve. Oh my god, this is not good. They got Eve. Maybe there's some juice left in this thing? No! Oh, the Guardians are dead. They're so dead, they've made quite the mess of your precious little missile base. I'm not sure you'll ever get the floors clean again. Agree to my demands and I will consider not destroying half of the nation! <sighs> Rex is still alive after... 
after he got a shot in the head. Oh, I said, shut up! I don't. I mean, it nah, nah. It, like, okay. First of all, I would say the group, the Lizard King group. I underestimated those, these villains. I underestimated how strong the way. Like the 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 villains in Invincible. None of them should be underestimated. No, no. Like the shock that they bring. Damn. Uh -uh. Uh, why would you? That's a weird question. was gone I, th I thought she was gone you saved us from the sick weeds and for that we are grateful yeah you're welcome uh look we gotta go but we cannot permit you to leave with the great betrayer yeah leave him over there i know they will <laughs> i know they will not leave him over there but He's, he he did a terrible thing. I'm pretty sure they will run away with him. <laughs> Me? I understand. Go, 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 Buster, Buster! Called it! <laughs> I knew they were gonna run with him. I knew, like, I knew there was no way they were gonna leave him behind. His people, the Martians would have dealt with him. Like that shit that he pulled. Nah. This is as fast as it goes. That was amazing. <laughs> uh. Thanks. Yeah, well, you know, I I trained with the best, right? <laughs> Do you, like let, let's be Do you guys see the energy between Eve and Mark? You can see the energy is totally different from what he has with Ember. There is this smile on his face. It's not that he doesn't smile with Ember, but with Ember, it's like there is always something. There is always him uh, complaining about the family problems and all of that. But with Eve, he has more. It's like you see that joy or something there is there is a spark of happiness when he's with this girl and i'm not saying that you know ember is at fault for that i'm just saying you know sometimes things work and sometimes relationships don't work out you know and i don't see his relationship with ember working out i mean i well it all depends on the writers at this point the writers are the ones that are making the decision I... Good work. Thanks. You too. Let's see if we can do this without you peeing on me again. Thank you for the update, Cecil. I'm glad Mark and the others are safe. But let's be honest. That's not the only reason you're here. The GDA has an entire department dedicated to superhero children. Right. Because a top secret government lab is the perfect place to raise a child. 
asked Cecil, this isn't about Nolan or me. It's about Mark. <laughs> this child is Mark's brother. His only brother, which makes him family to me, too. Debbie. And let me remind you that I raised Mark, who just saved the world. Again, I'm more than qualified to do this. Isn't that right? Hmm? All right. You win. But we're here if you need us, and I expect to be kept in the loop. Mm. It's nap time. Would you put it all in? Ooh. Immortal grieving his girlfriend is one of the saddest scenes see here today. <laughs> this episode, oh my god, look at Duplicate, she's everywhere. That is all her. That is all her. God. Please feel 25. Okay. And just like I, I said it already, when it's sadness and something that is like deep, deep, deep sadness, you it Mac always runs back to Ember. She's like the 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 therapy section, the therapist, the the one. <laughs> See, no, <laughs> I understand there are some women out here that are okay with that role of being a therapist in a relationship. I I can't, I can't be that person. No, you're going to have to go find somebody else. No offense. <laughs> Good job, Oliver. Oliver? Mark. Brabra. Brabra. <laughs> you named him after Grandpa? Well, he needed an actual name besides Nolan's alien baby. It's good. I like it. Though her powers came from a family curse, she believed they were a gift to help those around her. That was Kate's real power. Her unwavering belief that this world is good. Even when it killed her over and over and over again. It was a... It was a beautiful service. I'm glad it didn't rain. Hated the rain. Why do I feel this way, Marcus? Because you loved a man. I loved many others before Kate. All of them died as well. But this... This is different. Wow, he was really in love with this one. He was really in love with her. He was really, really in love with Kate. He was love... Oh my God, man. Oh my God, they really made this scene very emotional.
So, classes are going okay? I mean, I'm at the point where I just roll out of bed and go to lectures in my pajamas. It's very freeing. <laughs> <laughs> hey, can I just say this feels like a first date? Yeah, a bad first date. I missed you. I missed you too. You know, sometimes I wish I never got powers. Then I could just be with you and forget about everything else. And here we go, it's drawn and destroyed again. Like, dude, you are in a good place. I miss you, I miss you too, good. And here we go, oh, sometimes I wish I didn't have No, do not do this right now. But you do have powers. And that means you have an obligation to make the world a better place. And if you didn't feel that way, we wouldn't be dating to begin with. Okay, before anybody's gonna come for Ember right here, he brought up this topic. Mark brought up this scene of being sad and lonely. Oh my God, sometimes he, he set the tone for sadness here. This is all on him. So, what do we do now? And here she is trying to make him feel better again. She, she is here trying to make him feel better again. Oh, if you didn't have fun. No, girl, you overcompensated. For me, oh. <laughs> nah. I wonder how some women can be like the, the emotional support. You know, women. Like, I, th I think it would be exhausting. It would be exhausting. Ooh, uh-uh. I can't. See, I have my own problems. Mark, look who's back. Whoa, Rick. How are you feeling? Hi, Mark. Um, I, I guess I'm fine. I'm here to help facilitate his transition. If there's anything I can do, just call me. That is so kind. Thank you. Come on, Rick. I guilted the college into giving you a private room in the dorm next door. I already decorated it. Wow. Rick looks exactly the same. It's like nothing happened. Something did happen. He went through intensive body reconstruction. That kind of trauma can resurface. Donald, are you okay? Donald. Donald is also like having his own issues, like, with, you know, with what Seesaw did, so, yeah. How's Ray? Hold it in there. You know, when that bullet went through my head, I saw my life flash before my eyes. Yeah. That's always sounded like bullshit to me, too, but it's not. I was such a dick to Kate. To Eve, too. To every woman I've ever dated. None of them deserved it. I don't know why I had to get my brains blown out to see that. Wow. Rex is having an epiphany. Epiphany. <laughs> Hi, I'm April Housem here for the nanny position. No, before we begin, you should know that Cecil sent me. 
Now, I wasn't supposed to tell you, but I think it's unacceptable to mislead a potential employer. As you can see, I have extensive experience working with gifted children ranging from newborns to late teens. So So you know that Oliver is... Half Thraxin, half Filtramite. I also know that Nolan Grayson, or Omni-Man, is Oliver's father, and that your son Mark, also invincible, is Oliver's half-brother. There's only a handful of people in the world with my skill set. This allows me job security and freedom from government oversight. I mean, this nun is quite straightforward and sincere. And I think the two of them are going to do a good job if they work together, you know, for Oliver's sake. I mean, she could have just lied, but she didn't. And she just came out clean. I mean, she's working for Seesaw. You can also be like, tell her all the things. You know, I, you can never trust that man. I work for you, Miss Grayson, not Cecil. Period. You're the boss. Not him. <laughs> Mama boss. <laughs> See? Oliver knows who's in charge. Oh, I think she's going to love that child. Oh. So what do you say? Ready to join the team? You're old friends with half of them anyway. Cecil, uh, you know, I'm still figuring out what kind of hero I want to be. And that's not the kind of person you need on the Guardians. But you know how to find me if you need my help again. And you know where to find me when you change your mind. Uh, I mean, Mark is over here. First of all, he was complaining about his relationship. And yet, he does not know how to fix this. Instead of you two talking to friends, both of you, both uh, Ember and... Mark could have just sat down together. I mean, this is the time they have free. This is what I mean. The both of them don't have any connection. Both of them do not have a uh, true connection. This relationship feels false. It feels like Mark uses Ember for his therapy section. And Ember, she, she's just doing all of this. I mean, I, I don't see what Ember is getting out of this. No offense. Mark is getting a therapy. And since he couldn't get a therapy, he's coming over here for advice. Well, it had to be tough seeing him again. Even after everything he did, I didn't realize how much I missed him. Last thing he told me before the Viltrumites took him away wasn't, I love you or I'm sorry. It was, read my books. He wrote sci-fi novels under a pen name when you were a kid. None of them sold great, so he gave it up. Can you believe he gave them to me as a tip once? <laughs> a big spender? Your dad was not. Lost inside the chasm to oblivion. Hate tribes on the planet wreck? I told Nolan they were great. Real exciting. Uh, I never read them. The man with the invincible gun. Catchy title, Dad. Little was known about the Space Rider, the stuff of legends. Stories about him stretched across the 12 galaxies, but in all of them, one detail remained constant. 
the Infinity Ray. It was said to emit an unstoppable energy wave that destroyed anything in its path. And as powerful as the stories claim, it poses a huge, huge threat to our mission. Savage planet, savage beasts. Our mission was simple. To investigate this harsh planet and report back to Space Command Headquarters. After finding no usable resources, my partner and I were ready to return home. But the planet had other plans. Oh, goodness! I've heard about, I've heard some TikTokers talking about these creatures right now. They, from what I've heard, uh, people say they are more stronger than, you know. So I had to change my um, sitting area because I had a, you know, a visitor. But um, from what I heard that the Ragnars are literally stronger than the Vitromites. So I've heard a lot about them. But you know what? Let's continue. Ragnars. In an instant, I was surrounded. Swarmed, overwhelmed. I've battled creatures ten times their size. But because of the gravity on this planet... Ragnars had evolved strength like no other. And I feared this place would be my grave. Wait. No way. Ugh. And now let me see you now. Okay. Where did Invincible say he lived again? Crap. This is going to be tricky. <laughs> hey, I am not here to fight. I'm just looking for Invincible. Invincible! Omni-Man sent you! What the hell is going on? I don't know. I came here looking for you, and then suddenly this douchebag attacked me. You have those on Earth, right? Douchebags? Alan's my friend. He's a good guy. Oh, um... My thing only works between me and someone else, not between two other someone else. Um, can you tell him? Uh, yeah. With pleasure. Did Alan attack you or threaten you? Oh, good question. Mark wants to know if I attacked you or threatened you, which I totally didn't. Because you just charged up here and attacked me. Not very heroic of you, Earth superhero of Earth. I... I thought you were someone else. His girlfriend just died. bad for him he is really down he is really down the death of kate really took him out well now i feel like a giant douchebag wait for 
There is always something with your relationship, isn't it? There is always something. Either it's in space or is it something. No offense, but you can tell that they don't want a character to be together depending on how the writer writes this relationship. Their relationship is fucked. We are not going to lie about it. It's, it's, it's gone. They don't have a... Uh, a relationship uh, like their relationship is like a therapist uh and uh somebody that she's diagnosing i said it from the start like nah they need to break up asap i hope that in this episode or the next episode they break up because this is not working <clears throat> on behalf of thetis and the coalition of planets i am to escort you to telescria to discuss our war against the Built from Empire and how you can help. Grab your stuff, Mark. We got a boogie. What? No. I I, I just got back from space. Twice. I'm not going back just to talk to your boss. This could be our chance to end Viltrumite tyranny for good. Isn't that what you want? Of course, but Amber and I are in a weird place. When you have the time, you find... This is the thing. Mark is not putting any effort into their relationship. Forget about I know a lot of people will be like, oh, but Alan was there and he had to... No, there is always something. There is always something. And now that my mom's looking after my half-brother, I can't just ditch her. All right, got it. It was good seeing you again, Mark. Thank you. And I'm very sorry about your father's impending or already completed execution. Uh, thanks. Yeah, I, I still don't get why they took him away when they could have just killed him on Thraxa. I've heard rumors of a Viltrumite prison somewhere in space. Maybe they took him there. Ask around? I'd appreciate that. There is a path to redemption. Rejoin your people, Nolan. Let this not be your legacy. Uh, you were one of our greatest warriors. How did... A mere moment on Earth turn you into a weak, sentimental traitor. Answer me! That planet and its people are toxic if they could do this to you. They too will pay. He, he, Army Man has literally given up. He has given up. He's like, uh -uh, I'm not fighting anything. I'm not even gonna fight you. Fucking Martian. It wasn't enough that you left me to die on Mars. You had to trash my place too. He left himself very filthy. The apartment, I mean, the apartment is literally filthy. No wonder they have the, what, what they call them, those creatures over there helping them to clean because it looked like if without those things, they wouldn't be able to survive. The sick weed, like, not only did this guy, I don't, I, I don't think the ship's mate is a hero at all. He's a villain at this point. Let's talk about, he wanted to not live on the ground so bad that he hit somebody on the head, causing the whole freaking disaster with the uh, sequins, uh, you know, taking over his planet, 
and using this person because they could penetrate the skin and he didn't even take care that this person that he literally hit on the head was safe in the first place like to remove him there or to make sure it's okay or secure him none of that so his planet ended up being taken over then he goes to and this guy's apartment and wrecks it i don't care i know a lot of people might be like it's just stupidity at this point i really don't think it's stupid i just feel like this guy really does he's a nuisance he's a nuisance he doesn't care yeah and in my point he's kind of like a villain he just, villains do whatever they want and he just does whatever he wants We gotta hand him. No offense. I know a lot of people might be like, oh, he hasn't. No, he's done enough. A lot of people might be like, he hasn't done anything. You brought us, uh, uh, what is it called? A secret in here. You brought it to, for, I, I was talking about this before because I remember him going inside the, traveling with everybody else. You know, the Martian, I mean, the, the spaceman with the thing and there was a uh, secret on the thing. I was like, didn't he come back to Earth with that thing? Yes, he did. And probably brought one of them so that he can be taking care of him. May I ask, sir, what's the occasion for such a fine suit? I'm visiting an old friend. Ah, uh, it is good to be home. <laughs> That's the end, people. Okay, I'm gonna say this. Thank you all for joining me today. Do not forget to press that like button, subscribe, and I will see you all on the next one. Have a great day and goodbye. Listen to me. You have to get out of there.